Hello, everybody, and welcome back to my playthrough of Amnesia The Dark Descent. I am Danger Kitty. We're doing some shit! And trying not to... Oh, man. Audio's peaking already. I should be quieter. Stop. So, in the last episode, uh, I got the bejesus scared out of me twice. Despite the fact that I was talking shit earlier about everybody that was like, Oh, it's so scary, but... Turns out it's pretty fucking creepy. Who would have guessed? Uh, for once, the masses were not incorrect. Wow, that's not a chest. All right. My sanity must be unbelievably low. What's it at? Yeah, I'm hurting. I'm hurting. My health is fine, but my sanity, not so much. Even though I stood next to fire, like, just a minute ago. See, if I stand here, it's just gonna stay like that. Nothing is gonna change, which is frustrating. What are you? A note. Chemical relocation. The lack of chimney, lack of a chimney to properly vent the fumes from my most recent experiments has taken its toll on many of my less stable ingredients in storage. Some seem unaffected, but many are stained by the fumes and will be difficult to salvage. I shall do what I can and move them to the wine cellar. You know, that reminds me of an anecdote about this time I was over at a friend's house and we had made some chili and we were going to put some oyster crackers in this chili. But the oyster crackers were kept in a pantry out... There should be more coop racks. Let me see, let me see. And one part aqua force. So, as I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted. These oyster crackers were kept in a garage, or in a pantry out in the garage. And so when we bit into them, we noticed, much to our dismay, that these, um... Oyster crackers were tainted by the taste of motor oil, because he does a lot of uh, he does a lot of work on cars. He's he restores cars for fun, and so uh, what the fuck is that? One day I will return. If it wasn't for the thought of you, my love, I wouldn't be able to go on. When I find myself doing terrible things, I take comfort in you. As long as I am able to think of you and long for a life together. I know I'm better than the others. I weep for them. They lust for power without restraint, where I only crave fair judgment and a safe return. But what is it? That's all it does. Okay, but I still don't know what that does, though. Early alchemy experiment. This is my third attempt to produce artificial vitae. The former compounds lacked the potency I need, but I sense I'm close. Calamine and orpiment. What the fuck are half these things? An orpiment are a given, and the cooperite binds them well. This time I will attempt aqua regia instead of aqua fortis, and I hope it will produce a more relevant or more even solution. The experiment was unsuccessful. The solution is highly is highly acid, highly acidic. I think is a word phrase. Improves impractical to put to any use except as a detergent. Well, that's not impractical. It's great. Organic tissue reacts especially violently to the solution and should be handled with the greatest care. I might be able to use the recipe, but I am losing hope that I will be able to, that I will find an alchemic solution to my predicament. Except no one is entirely sure what your predicament is. You haven't really said that yet. That would be good to know. But I did learn that I needed to pick up some things, and that's good. And I got some more oil, I think, and that's also good. Probably going to use a lot of that in the near future, I would imagine, if I had to guess. Alright, so then let's go up here. Through the door to the entrance hall, a handful of sand trickled from the crumbling stone ceiling and pushed down onto the brim of his hat. He braced himself as the cavern suddenly shifted and settled. Yes. I actually managed to read that one that time. So proud of myself. So what's down here? 
Oh, the wine cellar. Why not just... Why don't you use the fucking key? Retard? How do I use it? Oh, like that. It's fucking stupid. I shouldn't need to go into the menu. The desert dunes were like waves in a sluggish sea. While the caravan moved, the land appeared motionless. But in camp, the hills moved. Yeah. Beware when standing in darkness, I'm aware. Yes. Where did the baron go? Who cares? He left us enough wine to last us a lifetime. Or at least until tomorrow. <laughs> right. I don't know how we're having flashbacks to events we weren't around for. That's an interesting thing, but, you know, whatever. And, holy balls! Can I make all of them freak out like that? No. Just that one, I guess. Alright, then out we go. Anything through here? I have a feeling that monster is going to be in here someplace. Just, just on a hunch. Ow! Fucking asshole! Well, that sucks. My voice sounded kind of girly then, didn't it? I'm not the only one that thought that, right? Pick up that. Come over here. Are there any more things? No need to fill up the oil. It's already full. Yeah. I don't remember how to get out of here, though. I think I just had to move all this shit, right? Sorry, I know I got quiet there for a second. It's because I was trying to, like, figure out words. I wasn't trying to figure out words. I was trying to figure out how the hell to get out of here. And you do it like this. Go back. Walk backwards. There you go. God damn it. Why is my vision red? Is my sanity that bad? It's always bad. Whatever. Well, I think I might have fucked myself with this door thing. Yeah, suck it. I go forth. Whether you want me to or not. I don't think there's anything in there. Yeah, there was nothing in there. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it the whole time. What's happening? Oh, it feels like my chest is going to burst. Oh. My God, Wilhelm, do something! Accept it. We're not getting out of here. How can you say that? Alexander, you piece of shit! Let us out of here! <laughs> I think they did. I'm just going off a hunch on that one. I think they're toast. Okay. I'm going to clear that out because I need to jump in a closet. Get out of the fucking closet! God damn. Wilhelm's last words. My name is Wilhelm, House of Garrick. These are my final words, my confession and testament. Two years ago, I was summoned to the Castle Brennenberg. As most of the aristocracy, I was curious about what this supposed king of the order could want from me and accepted the invitation. 
The Baron was friendly and offered me a proposition. It dawned on me that the nature of the con contract was sordid, and that the reason I was chosen was because of the follies of my past and not the honors I've been awarded, uh, awarded with during my time as a soldier. I was to kidnap healthy humans upon his slightest whim and do so without asking questions. In return, he would attest to my character at the royal court, advancing my position within noble society. I would like to claim that I struggled with my decision, but it came swiftly and I accepted wholeheartedly. Ever since that day, I've brought men, women, and children to Brennenburg. I can't remember the numbers, but there were many, perhaps even a hundred, none of whom were ever seen or heard from again. Tonight, the Baron invited me and my men down into the wine cellar to celebrate our work. I had my suspicions as we descended the stairs, but he insisted and joined us with a toast. The wine tasted fine, and my men drank without restraint. So begins the punishment for our sins. The Baron has locked us up and returned upstairs. Forgive me for what I have done. I was weak and fell into his diabolic ways. My men are screaming. Their skin has been pierced by their own tangled bones. I feel my insides revolt against their God-given nature. Blood has begun to pour from my eyes, and I can no longer... Write, I'm sure is what he was about to say, because the note ended there. So, this game does get in incredibly dark, it would, it would seem. Um... I gotta stop saying, um. Hey, my sanity is improving, though, which is good. This game does seem to get really dark, uh, very, very quickly. Which I guess makes sense, because it's a, it's a horror game, right? It's kind of a suspense horror novel. I don't even know why I pointed that out. It seems like a thing that everybody would already know. But I pointed it out anyway, because I'm talking out of my ass. That map's not useful. Let's go in this door. I haven't been in here yet. That door does not go either way. Alright. Let's try this door then. The enemy is near. Stay out of sight. Don't like that. I don't like that suggestion. Why are you giving me that hint right now? Right. Is that them over there? It totally is. Alright. Fuck you. I'm not looking at anything. I'm going to stare at this corner. This is the one thing that I... That I... Was really frustrated with for most of these Let's Plays. Uh, I say I was frustrated. I have very torn feelings on it. You had two kinds of people. You had the, the Let's Players that never so much as peeked around a corner to see if an enemy was there. And then he had others who could not keep their fucking faces in a corner and got themselves in trouble so often because they just refused to hide, right? They wanted to put themselves in danger. And on one hand, like in the first case, I was busy going, oh my god, what the hell does this monster look like? I can't tell because you won't be bothered to just, you know, grow a pair and look at it every now and again. But... All right. I'm gonna get up, or do I need to use laudanum? It improved. All right, good. Good lord. My, uh... Oh, now my sanity is better. That's a tad bizarre, but okay. So anyway, I was never sure if I was really, like, frustrated with Let's Players if they just kind of, you know, weenied out, or if I was A-OK -okay with it. Now I'm kind of doing a happy mix of both, you know? I want to look at the monster, I want to see what its stupid face looks like, but on the other hand, I am scared shitless. I will admit that freely, openly even. I feel like there was something else in here that we were supposed to pick up, but I don't know what it is. Oh well, let's go in here. We're looking for Aqua Fortis, I think now, right? Calamine, we had that. Regia, Laudanum. I don't know, let's consult our things. Notes. No, that's not what I want. I want diaries. No, I want a met. Mm, four chemicals can lead. 
Well, that's not helpful. I need to know what I'm supposed to grab. Whatever. I feel like I'll know it when I see it. Pick up that. That's nice. What else we got over here? Aha! I picked up a thing. Warpament. Which means that I am now three for four. How convenient that there's just dust floating right here. Okay. Well. I thought I'd been in all four rooms. Picked one up in every room. That, uh... Teeth grinding is infuriating. But that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this episode off here. It's a good place to end, I think. We got three out of the four of the the the, the ingredients. I think all I'm missing now is aqua fortis. Or no. I don't know. There's a thing I'm missing, but I'm sure I'll be able to find it easily enough in the next episode, so stay tuned for that. Please be sure to like and leave a comment. I would appreciate it very, very much. And uh, I, I'm really open to any feedback. What do you guys think so far? What what do you prefer as far as the, the Let's Playing stuff goes? Do you prefer when people sit and stare at the monster all the time? Or do you prefer it when people just kind of, you know, play it safe and just hide in the corner the whole time? Let me know. I'm interested to hear what you have to say. But anyway, thank you guys again for tuning in. I appreciate it. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out. <laughs>